Joe Hughes with the Truck Club, and I'm here with a couple of guys from Mitsubishi HC Capital America, Vice President of Sales. Yes, Vice President of Sales of the West, Jay Saul. Your Sol. name, Jay yes, Saul? Yes. Okay, and? Jack Dyson, Vice President Jack of Sales Dyson. for the Central. Great, okay, well it's great to have you guys here, and I know you guys are doing an, an awful lot of work uh, contacting dealers and contacting bodybuilders, and me as a dealer, I'd just be asking uh, on behalf of all the retail dealers out there, why would I use a dealer beside my OEM finance company or whatever? What, what, why yeah. would a dealer, what, what appeal does a dealer have? Yeah, great question. So yeah. lender, independent lender that's 100% dedicated to work trucks. So uh, we offer value in our expertise there. Yeah. That's the huge, by the way. Yeah, yeah. The second thing is we help our dealers maximize their finance income. Mm -hmm. So nobody has, no other lender has the ability uh, either through term where we are able to extend the term out farther than our competitors, mm. uh, zero down approvals because we have no LTV limitations, and our markup opportunities to help our dealers maximize their income better than we can. So wow. those are the main reasons that our current uh, light duty partners are doing business with us. That's today. all good. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'll ask you, Jack. What? Why would a bodybuilder? How would he engage Mitsubishi? Yeah, so Upfitters and Mitsubishi HC Capital really mesh very well. And part uh -huh. of that is because of our expertise. We have over 20 years um, expertise and uh, history in the work truck division. So yeah. we, we know their customers. So when they send over that service body or bucket lift or chipper van or whatever you got, we know what that is. We know what their customer does with it. Mm -hmm. And with that, we can is issue their customer a strong approval that allows them to get that truck on the market or out in the, out in the field and put to work and making money. Sure. And then like Jay said, we can also help them as another source of income for their business. Yeah, and I know, I know, and I know that that potential is huge. Oh, it's I, absolutely huge in yeah. today's world. You yeah. get every source of income you can get. Yeah, I was just saying earlier to a couple of other people in your organization that, that that it's just a whole not, it's a whole nother uh, arrow in my quiver kind of thing. It's, yeah. It gives me one more avenue to find financing, sometimes when it's hard to get the OEM to approve. That's well, absolutely. Right. So a lot of the dealers we do business with will use us as a secondary source behind their captive mm -hmm. initially. Mm -hmm. And when they find that exposure is full with their captive lender or the lender starts or the lender starts to require financials or full packages, we can come in with no exposure on that customer and we have very high app only limits for, for aggressive companies. So that's another way that adding another lending option is good for their business mm -hmm. and sure. gives their customer additional access to capital to buy more trucks long term and, and you know we value growing that relationship from there on. Yeah, that's great. That's that's great for great for all considered. All the players, uh, everybody wins. Exactly. Yeah. Well, thanks again. Appreciate you taking the time yeah, and you, telling John. me about it. Definitely enjoyed Dave, it. Very nice. Appreciate meeting. it.